Hey guys, it's Megan, and in today's video, I'll be showing you how to paint a neon sign. Since it's summer now, I thought it would be fun to make some shorter tutorials like this, in addition to my usual longer videos. I'm going to shoot for at least two videos a week this summer, but I mean, you guys have met me, we'll see how that goes. But before we get started, I wanted to let you guys know that I just made new merch. The link's in the description, and without further ado, let's just get into the video. For this project, you'll need a canvas or something to paint on, acrylic paint, a round foam brush, and a few regular brushes. Start by painting your canvas black. When that dries, sketch out your design with a pencil. I thought it would be cute to make one of these on-air signs that you'd see at a radio or TV station. I might actually redo this on a scrap piece of wood or something with a more rectangular shape since there was a lot of blank space left on the canvas. You can use this technique with any word or shape that you want. I found it helpful to look up neon signs for inspiration, but feel free to come up with your own design. And once your sketch is done, we can start painting the letters. We're going to skip the O because I kind of messed that one up, I went back and fixed it later. But anyways, go over each letter with a round foam brush. I used blue for these letters, but any color will work. While that paint is still wet, dip your paintbrush into a little bit of white, and use it to sketch out the tubing of the neon sign. A real neon sign would bend in a few places, so I left gaps where the bends were in my reference image. This is why it's kind of helpful to use a reference, but just use your best judgment if you're painting this from imagination. I worked with one letter at a time so that my blue paint wouldn't dry out. If you're painting a cursive word or a larger image, I'd still recommend working in sections like this. Once all the letters are dry, use a small paintbrush dipped in white paint to add highlights to the left side of each letter. Then, mix a color that's slightly darker than the letters, and use the same small brush to add shadows to the right side of each letter. Since my sign actually had two colors, I used the same technique to paint the red tubing surrounding the sign. Again, I painted this one section at a time so the red paint wouldn't dry too fast. The highlights and shadows were a little trickier on this part, so I just looked at my reference image and kind of just guessed. And for the finishing touches, I used a small paintbrush dipped in white paint to add stars in a few random places. Some of them were just small white dots, and I made these little cross shapes for the others. After I added the stars, I went back one last time to add any extra shadows or highlights that I thought it needed. And here's how my finished neon sign turned out. It might look cool if you painted over the sign with glow-in-the-dark paint. Or you could add some LED strips to the edge of your canvas. Let me know what kind of neon sign you'd paint down below. And if you end up making one, make sure to tag me on Instagram. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos just like this one. My merch, my website, and all of my social media will be linked down below. I hope you guys are all staying safe and healthy. And yeah, I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!